I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Steve Hackett's brand new album is Surrender of Silence. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on it. And the tour, he's doing a Seconds Out tour. Remember that famous live album from Genesis? Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Hackett. Okay, the proverbial uh, uh, Genesis question. Leaving Genesis in hindsight, would you have done anything different? You're a different, you're a slightly different person because you're older by default, you just are, but looking back. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think my allegiance is primarily to, uh, to music. Yeah. Um, I think even if I'd been a member of the Beatles, um, you could leave the most, uh, you know, world's most popular band. But, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, um, you cannot afford to have stillborn brain children. It's something I say quite a lot, and it's, it's to do with autonomy. Um, if you need permission to complete the song, uh, that, that isn't healthy. Um, I think all bands need solo outlets. Controversially said, you know, um, but otherwise uh, any band worth its salt will start to hemorrhage band members. Peter Gabriel left, I left. And, um, and eventually Phil left. I know they're reconvening as a, as a three piece, but um, there have been a lot of really clever people uh, through the doors and the portals of Genesis. <laughs> yeah. How you been keeping, by the way, with all this crazy uh, stuff well. going on? Yeah, uh, it's been um, a very productive time for us. Um, lots of recording, which has been tremendous. It's been great to do all of that. Um, uh, no gigs up to now, but in a month's time, we're in front of people again. So we have a UK tour and we'll honor all of the stuff that has been um, sidelined up to now. As soon as we're able to, as soon as we're allowed to, we will be doing it. How do you feel about going back out? I mean, I was just talking to a Canadian band, Honeymoon Suite, who just did their first show in my hometown in Miramichi, New Brunswick, on the East Coast. and they. You know, they, they, they were, they said they were a little, little nervous, but how do you feel going yeah. back out? Well, um, I think um, I'm kind of fatalistic. I figure that, um, you know, I mean, I, I could get hit by a falling tree any minute, you know. Um, a plane could fall out of the sky and devastate our house. Um, hell, um, you know, the world <laughs> is going through it at the moment. You know, fire, flood, famine pandemic, you name it. Um, uh, at the end of the day, um, I'd rather not sit at home and do nothing, be in yeah. splendid isolation. I'd rather be productive. I'd like to be out there engaging with people in as much as is possible, even though we're going to be in a bubble with this. I keep saying to friends, no, we won't be able to meet up with you because we have to isolate. It's part of the deal with all of this, that, that the whole team have to isolate and um, protect as much as possible so um, yeah uh as you put it uh lockdown cobwebs are blown away in one fell sweep here on this brand new album by the way i i uh, i have a tendency to listen to the music at the last possible moment at the last half hour 45 minutes i listen to the new album straight through all the way through so it's fresh in my mind and oh, uh, but but this is uh, such a grand uh, this to get one of these done, I always think, because you have so, so many cultures, so many journeys, you know, so many hills and valleys, so many melodies. Uh, how long did it take you, first of all, to get this project from start to finish? And how does it start for you? Uh, one track we, we had recorded about two years ago, um, uh, the track called Scorched Earth. Apart from that, everything was new. Everything was written to order. Um, I can't really describe the process adequately. Um, a song takes shape thusly. Um, Joe and I might go and visit a country we've never seen before, like Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. We come back, we talk about everything. Um, we will remember different things. Joe will remember the Rift Valley. She'll remember the source of the Nile. I may have forgotten the fact that we've seen that. We, um, the source of the Blue Nile, um, I'll remember certain things about the tribes. But at the end of the day, we shoot film. It's Joe who's got the camera out shooting this stuff. And um, she'll say to me, uh, why don't we write a song that celebrates Africa? And meanwhile, I've, I've got these rough words. 
and then we and then we bat it backwards and forwards and I'll say well it will work better rhythmically if this happened than that happened um, and um, um, usually she'll say yeah anything to make it work rhythmically as long as we get the basic idea across so we have a story we have a basic blueprint it gets fleshed out at some point we give it everything we think that it needs then we work with Roger King who um, sometimes will orchestrate things sometimes with us he'll bring his um, expertise and all his knowledge to bear on an arrangement I'll tend to be more broad strokes. Sometimes we'll send something out to another musician to to play on. Um, different drummers. We we have um, three drummers just off the top of my head on this album. Uh, two of which are from the states: Nick De Virgilio and Phil Earhart, um, and um, yeah. Craig Blundell. Yeah, Craig Blundell uh, from from the UK. Um, all of these drummers worked in their own separate facilities and sent stuff to us. Um, I think everyone works from their own padded cell at home and <laughs> send the stuff, you know, and uh, and hope that it'll get the, the seal of approval. Let me out of the asylum, they all say, and um, that's what happens. Surrender of Silence is the brand new album from Steve Hackett. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on that. It's a great record and information on the new tour, which is called Seconds Out, which is named after, of course, the double live album from Genesis. He was still in the band back then. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos and buy a t-shirt, help support our channel. There's all kinds of different designs for all of our channels. Check them out, link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.